Hi everyone, it's Elliot from TutorialEdge.net and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how you can test your Go applications. Now, as always, the full text version of this tutorial can be found on my website and I'll leave a link to this in the description below. So, why do we test? Well, testing is hugely important in all software. Being able to ensure the correctness of your code and ensure that any changes you make don't end up impacting other parts of your system is hugely important. By taking the time to adequately test your Go programs, you allow yourself to develop faster with a greater sense of confidence that what you are developing will continue to work when you release it into production. So in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how you can develop and run these tests for your Go code using the go test command. So let's dive into the code. Imagine we had a very simple Go program that was made up of one file and featured one calculate function. This calculate function simply takes in one number and adds two to it. Nice and simple, just to get us up and running. So let's code that now. Package main and import fmt and func calculate. And again, this is going to take in one number and it's going to return a result, which will be of type int. Then the body of this, we're going to do result equals x plus 2, and then return result. Below this, we're going to do our main function. So func main fmt dot print line and go testing tutorial. And just to play around with things, let's try doing result equals calculate to fmt.println result. Now let's go into our terminal and try and run this now. So go run main.go and you should see that it has printed out go testing tutorial and the expected value of four. Excellent. So now that we have our basic program up and running, it's time to start writing the tests for it. Now, we should be writing these tests within the main underscore test.go file. And you can see that this is the name of our file suffixed by underscore test. Come into here and do the following. So package main import and we want to do testing. And next what we want to do is write our test calculate function. And this will take in t start testing dot t. Now within this we want to write a really simple test for our function. And this is just going to be if calculate two does not equal four, then we want to throw an error. So t dot error expected. 2 plus 2 to equal 4. Nice and simple. Now let's try run that by typing go test in the terminal. And as you can see, the test is passed and it took roughly 0 0.007 seconds to run. So now that we're happy that one calculation works, we should look to improve the confidence we have in this program by adding a few extra test cases into our code. If we want to gradually build up a series of test cases that are always tested, then we can leverage an array of tests like so. So function, test table, oh, sorry. Test table, calculate. And again, we're gonna pass in t star testing dot t. And within this, we're gonna to want to do the following. So var tests equals an array type struct and this struct is going to feature an input which will be of type int and an expected output of type int as well. And then let's build, build up our array of test cases. So first one is 2 to equal 4 and then minus 1 should equal 1, 0 should equal 2 and Let's go for a large value. So nine 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 nine. 
should equal uh, 1001. Perfect. Now that we've got that, we want to iterate through all of these test cases. So for underscore test in tests, we want to do if output of our calculate function with the test.input. If this output does not equal the test.expected, then we simply want to do t.error and test failed. This was inputted, this was expected and received that. And then we want to simply populate this with test.input, test.expected and output. Perfect, so let's try running this again. Now if we run our standard go test command, you should see that it only shows a pass and how long it took, but this time we want to see that both of our tests have successfully run. And we can do that by passing the dash v or dash for both flag to our command. And you can see that our test calculate function was run, it passed, and our test table calculate function has also run, and it too has also passed. Now, that's all we're going to cover for this tutorial. In future tutorials, we're going to look at more advanced concepts such as mocking and white box testing. But for now, we're going to keep it nice and simple. So hopefully you found this tutorial useful. If you did, then please leave a like and help to support the channel by subscribing for more programming tutorials. Cheers.